Before this video starts, I would like to give a quick disclaimer. We are currently at 29 subscribers. For this video, I want to finish by the end of this month and get 35 subs. So if you guys could, it's like six people, let's say 100 people see this video. If six people out of those 100 subscribe, I'll just be very happy. You guys have six days, so yeah, get me to 35 subs. So anyway, let the video continue. Hello YouTube, I'm back, and welcome to my full layer 2, like, walkthrough. I would call it a speedrun, but it wasn't really that fast, if I'm being honest. Pretty much, this is a Star Kindred Dual Attunement Gale Breath and Thunder Call build. I use this build to do layer 2. So what we do here is we put the key in, and then we use Wind Passage to get through. When we use Wind Passage, we drop down on the left, and then run to the Union Hook on the other side of the map. We go over here to try to get a shortcut to get Hook. We try to wave that, but we failed, sadly. Also here we use Lightning Cloak to get past. Lightning Cloak adds extra mobility. So using that help me get there faster. We use Gale Lunge, well Gale Leap. It's a talent that makes you lunge using Gale Breath. So we Union Hook Ascend up here. Then we keep going down. The wind is blocking us. And at one point I tried to use Ascension. I think it's right here. But since I'm still blocking me. I don't get past, so I just have to go through normally. We continue running up, and then the wind keeps blowing at us. So after the wind goes away, I kind of just run towards the bridge, taking a very small shortcut using Gale Leap, and then the wind stops me again. With this run, the wind is probably what made me go a lot slower. I usually would. The Bone Keeper spawns on the opposite side and I tried to spark swap it. That ruined my run and it kind of bugged out and it didn't die. So I had to redo it right here. Okay, we're redoing it. Here, I go to the spot, spark swap. It uses the room attack, so I drop down. When it uses the right moving forward attack, I spark swap with it and it falls into the void. And if you do this correctly, after a few seconds, the barrier should go away, like here. Now that it's gone, we dash up here using our stocking with wings. And then from here, we can turn on the generator, which I'm going to do shortly. Turn on the generator and drop down to the wire. From here, I use uh, Heavenly Wind and Big Dash, but I hit the wall. So we continue going up here to get back to the new hook at the beginning, but this wind is also stopping us. To be honest, the wind is the most annoying part of layer 2, so once you get past this spot, it's smooth sailing. So as we do this, we drop down here, but it's the wrong union hook, so we have to go to the other side. When, when you see these like rocks that leads to like the cage area, that's how you know you're in the right place. So once we go up at Union Hook, we're in Fear Fur Fire Cabin. Or Fur Fire Clips, because that's what it's called. So we try to wave dash, but we fail. So we use the cabin and then go lunge. After some dashing and running, we're in fur fire and then we go to talk to this guy i think his name is like erosius so once we talk to him since we already have etheron's gaze we can go down we can clip through the gate and then we can go to the bound to run all right we drop down here clear parasites and then we try to clip through this gate we luckily get it on the second try and then we open it from here two of these Carbuncles, divers, 
strike them, because gripping one will give us a chest. So we just keep swinging at them until they get knocked. After that, we grip one, and we take the chest. The loot wasn't that good, so we just go straight to the bounder run. Now we're at Nest Corridor, and we don't talk to that guy to push us down, because there's no need to take so much unnecessary damage. So we just use Ascension here to activate the Stargate points, and we run through here. So after some climbing, we maneuver around the bounders to places where they can't get. And then we climb up the Moor of Etheron. Now we drop down here. And there's a place where you can spark swap with the Bone Keeper, right there. We slide down here, go through this door, start climbing the ladder. Now we're at the top, we go to the right. You can go to the left, but I just like going to the right. Now we fight this Bone Keeper to get our Chain of Perfection stacked up. So we do multiple swings. Just keep fighting it like usual. Uh, Stock into Halo. Keep hitting it. Take it, we got Posture Bergen. And it hits us with the grab move, so now we've lost our chain of perfection. We hit it a couple more times. Then proc Spine Cutter. And then it hit us again, so we actually lost it. We open this chest. And it had pretty bad loot again, so we just used the Union Hook to get up to chase her, then we start climbing. So we just climb up these rocks, jump, climb the ladder, keep climbing the ladder, and then we get into Chase's boss arena. Once we're in the Cathedral of Etheron, we want to use Auto Scream, and then after Auto Scream, we wait for our ether to get up so we can inhale a mantra. So now we use spun cutter and block the vent and we'll hit him again. To get the most damage we can there. So we break these jaws, trying to avoid these attacks. We get hit by that grabbing move. It's fine. Again, we parry these like blood blocks. Watch that, and then break the shell. We start using our monsters that multi hits so we can get in more damage. Here we break more jaws. Harry these. Dodge that. Use Gale Lunge to hit those um, jaws. The roof falls, and this is the most annoying attack takes way too long. He tries to use a move to just walk out of it. He's out of the and start hitting him. We proc Spine Cutter to get most damage here. And now Chase is at half XP. We get hit here and we lose our chain of protection. Dodge that move. Jump over these hurdles. Break another jar. Dodge this. Break more jars. Dodge that. Now we start using our mantra stands. Fortunately, even though he hits us with his vent, it doesn't actually get rid of chain perfection. So we jump over these, and after that attack's finished, we break the jars. Carry all these. Dash over here. Break in the jar. Jump up here. We over jump it. Break the jar. Now chase the balls and use our marshals. We use spine cutter and keep hitting him. Break these jars. Hitting them, waiting for Chaser to use an attack. He uses this one where you have to jump over it. So now we break the next jar. 
dodge that. And break another one. Pally, we use a move to chase it a ball. Once he's fallen, we can use our monsters. Spine cutter. Now we wait. After dodging that, we break another jar. We avoid that. Carry those, but we didn't. So we lost the imperfection. Chase of balls. Auto screen. Gale trap. Find Zada. And he dents us off. Break this jar. Touch that attack. Break another jar. Touch that. Break this jar. I feel like this run could have gone a lot smoother and faster if I was able to avoid more of Chase's attack. But if you keep your chain of confession consistent, then you'll probably be doing a lot faster than I did here. So now we think Chase is going to finish the fight, it doesn't, we proceed to break more jars. We lose Chain of Perfection there. We keep hitting the jars. We dodge that. Parry. We use Gale Trap to start hitting him. We use Sinister Halo, Fine Cutter, just a lot of stuff to get us damage in. Chaser finally dies here, so we stand on this rock to not take any damage. Note, while doing this, you still have to be wary that you still can use attacks, so be ready to spot dodge. Like right here, you could spot dodge, but I chose to parry. Now we just wait a bit. Chaser dies, and now we check the loot. We got an enchanted pale morning. And after some decent looting, we just take stuff and then go straight to floor two. We're now on floor two, so you just climb up this dark place. Once you get up here, you want to look around, because there might be pink beams in the sky. But first you want to ring this lantern. Like to our right, there's a pink beam, meaning there's a Kirsten medallion chest. So we just make our way there. Jump around, run a bit, climb up this mini mountain, jump up here, continue climbing, and then from the pink beam, you can see the chest. So now we open it and take all the medallions. There is an NPC there, but we don't need to talk to him. Use Ascension to activate our Star Kindred wings. Now we continue running. Slide down here, slide down there. Climb up here, and I don't know why. I think I tried to wait dash here, and it actually worked. So, we continue going. As we run, we use Gill Lunge. We don't talk to these NPCs, so that'll just activate the spears. So, we make sure to get up here. Avoiding the purple light. And we also use lightning cloak to get an extra mobility. Oh yeah, around here, something really bad happens. So I attempt to wave dash across here, but I fall into the void. So I just start scrambling and climbing. And in the nick of time, I main menu. Somehow, some way, we didn't get wiped. So we have a second chance at this, and knowing what happened, we are not going to wave dash there. So I'm just going to skip to the part that we originally just were. Knowing that mistake's not going to happen again, well, we just activated the spears. So if you touch the purple light, this is what happens. You already know this because like there's been hundreds of layer 2 videos of course you already. But anyway, I'm just going to run down, keep going forward. Yep, 
one point they do stop around here. Oh no, never mind they don't. So we just keep moving, get into this little edge, and then we drop down. I tried wave dashing there, but it didn't even work. We hit a mini wave dash here, and then we start doing the library code. This is probably the most annoying part, so we click this one once, this one twice, this one once. This one twice again. This one twice. This one twice. That one once. This one twice. This one three times. This once. This one four times. This one twice. This one three times. And this one once. We now ring this lantern. And then we talk to Dr. Carrion, saying, I work for no one. If you don't do, I work for no one, then you can't get monster mantras. So anyway, from here, we turn around and wave dash. This is actually a really good wave dash that I got here. So now we continue moving forward. We use a Sinister Halo for our starting good wings. Again, for extra mobility. Now the Kias Guard actually see us and they'll be throwing spears at us. So let's just climb up here. So as we continue climbing, we go up and up until we get this like white magic door. But you'll know it when you see it. So we climb up the one on the left from where we climbed up and we should be in front of it. There it is with like the white squares. We light this lantern and go through another white magic door. From here, we go through this corridor, and we just pass through, we go to our right, and there should be a sewage here. We drop down here, hopefully taking mineral damage, and we make our way through the sunken railways. As we maneuver through this dark railway, we should get to this area with the bench. If you see these benches and these, like, areas then you're in the right place or at least you're going in the right direction so we continue going down until we actually find like another lantern we ring this lantern and we make our way back up and when we make our way back up there's gonna be like two or three key guards that spawn but they're in tacit and they do quite a lot of damage so you don't want them to hit you and see there they spawn so here is where some people can wipe a lot. So what I do is I like hang on the ledge and then drop down. Now we're in New Kiasa again. So we have to go through the left where these kids got off. We have to make our way around them. Also be pressing like M2 to cancel or right clicking to roll ragdoll cancel. So we continue making our way till we go back to a place where there's this big kiosk guard and like a tree. To be honest, here I was struggling a little bit to find it as I made my way all the way back to like the library. But hopefully that's not the problem. So we continue making our way through the gear so. Just keep running around. Yeah, I made my way back to the library. 
so we continue moving forward. I think I find it around here. So around that area with the first lantern, I'm gonna go to the right so you find this big tree. You wanna climb up here? I use lightning cloaks to help me get up here. So we climb up here, and then when we get to this area, we'll be able to bring the final lantern. So we continue moving along this area. We got stuck a little bit over here. Continue moving. And then there's the final lantern. It's guarded by like deceased divers who probably died in layer one and were sent here. But I don't really know that much of the lore to actually give like a good answer. But anyway, there was also a kiss and medallion chest here. So after we ring it, we take it. So we just take all these medallions. And I believe we try to fight them here. And then at one point I realized this is way too much effort for absolutely no reason. So we use all our like crowd control mantras, crap, all those above. And after fighting them for a while, I think I'll start to realize that it ain't worth it. So I just decided to leave after a bit. So we knock them all down and we start to grip them. But then they start getting back up, which is really annoying. We use Gale Punch to guard break them. Then we continue executing. Now what we do is we go back down, and before we go to fight Etheron, we make our way to Miserables to make a deal. Is it Miserables? Is it Miserables? I don't know how to say it. But anyway, we go to that weird owl-like creature to make a deal with the Kiss and Medallions. And if you don't have enough medallions, he instagrips you. Anyway, near him, there was this pink Kiss and Medallion chest, which I start making my way to. So when you get to this section, you go to the right and the left. So what we do is we make our way up here, continue climbing until we get to that medallion chest. We take all the medallions, drop back down, and then we talk to this guy. We do higher kid, peace of mind, and then I seek power. Wait, oh no. What we did was we sought clarity. So we were able to get a bell reroll. So now what I do is I make my way back to Ephra. Oh, not back to him. We make our way finally to Ephra. So after some climbing in a bit, we just go back below we came. Along with going to Etheron, after ringing all five of those bells, the timer stopped moving. And by the timer, I mean the old diver's watch. So again, climbing up here to make our exit. I believe we just looked for medallion chests. So we climb up here looking around for those pink beams in the sky. We try to climb up that, but it's you know, an actual object. And since we can't climb it, we have to find something else to do. So I used a combination of Gale Leap and Lightning Cloak to get up here. We find a pink beam in the sky behind us where I think I'm still looking around to see the thing in the back. So we go to those two. So 
So we tried making our way there, but we weren't able to do it. So we just climbed from the inside. We need this medallion chest. I think my game is bugging out here. We climb up here to the other one. Then we also take this chest. Anyway, we start looking for the pathway to Efron's arena. So what we do is um, we make our way around. At this point, I think I was still looking for like medallion chests, so that's why I'm probably look like I'm going around aimlessly. But either way, we found the path to it, so we just try to like dodge these keys guards. So we start making our way there on this thin bridge. I'm looking at my loot to see if I can equip the best stuff. So I'm just looking at all my options here. As I make my way down. Yeah. Here I place a repair kit to quickly fix my armor. Then after that, I just use portals for some reason to see how long it lasts. Here we did use portals to avoid Etheron's ult, but you can always parry it don't have that option. So we're finally at the arena. Climb up these stairs. Here yeah, I think I'm kind of getting ready to fight after a bit. So after a bit. Yeah, we now start the other one boss fight. Well, the sea on of but... Make our way to the first pillar. Making sure to parry his burns. Parry the beginning attack that he does. Make our way to the next one. Parry all through these burns. And as we do this, we watch out for that burn attack at the bottom. We make sure to kill this TS guard, which might be a problem later on. Yeah, after I'm using Zolt for the first time. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm just making my way to the next floor. I start waiting for it and I use portals. I get out of portals and I make my way to the next floor. I somehow parry that. He does his first hit, and when he does that first hit, it does no damage. But the second hit will do damage. So here I just make sure to hit him. We buff these bones. Carry this and make sure to hit him as much as we can. Carry this attack. So as that happens, the bone breaks. So we take this one instead, and place it in. Here, after it uses ult again, so you just get ready to use portals. We avoid it again, easily. Although we, we wait for his next attack. I somehow parry this while being blinded. Then we just carry these. With this Etheron boss fight, you're going to be doing like a lot of things at the same time. So while you're watching out for attacks, there's also going to be that 
rush of bones at the bottom. Like right here, I wasn't able to parry that. Here, you have to be a bit up so that the bones actually like auto direct to you properly instead of hitting like a wall. So, making sure to parry these if needed, we get to this next um, pillar. Uses ult again, so we use portals. We get to the next pillar. Uses the burn attack, so we make sure to elevate ourselves. Use another burn attack, elevating ourselves again. We go to the final pillar. So parrying this beam. We parry this next beam. But now Ethron's frozen. And this is our opportunity that we have to attack it. So I use Wind Passage, Lightning Cloak, and I just start hitting him. I also use Inhale as well. So I just start doing as much hits as possible here. I think I use Auto Scream and continue to hit Ethron. Just making sure I use all those monsters to get Here, a few of the bones will be missing on each of the floors. So what my main strategy is for this, is to get the bones on the bottom floor and the top floor. Because where he's frozen is the second floor. Here I use portals to just quickly get around. I kill this gear scar because I'm slightly low. Making sure to parry this bone attack. I mean, this slam. I parry all three of those. Parry this. Let me kill this gear scar. Well, you don't. Just pull this again. And then we make our way to the top floor. Making sure to parry this so we can get our hits in. Parry all three of those and make our way up. Parry this. Try to parry some of those, but they didn't get high enough. Yeah, Ethereum is so, so you just have to wait around a bit. Once again, you can use portals to easily avoid it. And then we wait for his next attack. Use the bone move so we jump so they reach us. God. Then we drop down to next to the next one. Then we have to dash around to make our way to We kill this gear guard, but we don't. We just get him low. Chase him next time. We use auto screen. Making sure to get all our hits in. Sinister the Halo, Hail Trap, just all the monsters you can to get damage. Again, fighting this gear shot. 
they're annoying. Portals to avoid the ultimate. And if you're still watching this video at this point, thank you. We do appreciate the watch time. Well, at least I do. If you're watching, if you're bored, thank you again. Because this is a fairly long video. Again, I'm gonna ask you to like subscribe. And another thing, when Etheron spams his slam attack, it generally means that he's low HP. So we carry all three of those. Keep hitting Etheron. I think we make our way to the next floor. Hit him a couple of times. Climb up here. I was not able to carry that one. I used this key start as a shield. And now since Ethron is in go, we can spend this free time that we have to make our way to this floor. I look around for it and I don't find it, I just destroy it. I think I see it on the other side, so I make my way there. We parry everyone's beam attack and try to wave dash there. We use Gale Line, we get the Tears Guards. Everyone uses a slime attack. Slime attack again, but we don't parry. We parry all three of those. Put this in. Parry this one. Block two and duck and get it like the last one. This, so we run around to get it. Use ascension to get there. Use the auto screen. Gale trap. Use the halo. Gale trap again. Gale loop. We inhale another mantra. So now we just keep hitting him, and everyone dies. Now, we leave the chest. We get an enchanted kiss to uh, just keep bleeding. I don't know why I spent way too much time here. Those orbs almost got us, so it's a sign to me that I have to get out of here. So I start making my way out of the so when you get to this spot, just follow where I go. Well, probably don't, because that took like a long way out. The Kiosk Guards do spawn in different spots, so it does get a bit annoying. So we start to make our way out. We're just trying to get there as fast as we can. I think a wave dash here could have helped me, but failing it could have made the orbs hit me, so. We're finally back at the first bridge, meaning that we're close. Once we get into new Kiesa, there'll be many Kiesa guards trying to stop us, like right here. And here, don't do, don't do what I did, just keep spamming it to plug it up. To be honest, I almost wiped the exploit, so I just tried to run around. I should have used portals to escape, but I obviously used to think of that. I didn't think of that. Again, we just keep walking around. We're a bit lost here, but we do eventually make our way to the light room. 
so just making our way around. It's back at the first tree that we went to. So to the last lantern is in that same area with that big tree. So right over there. I look around for the case of the but I don't see anything. So from here we just go past the skier guard and escape and we'll go And that's the full layer 2 walkthrough. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We're at 29 subs currently, and I'm trying to get to 30 by the end of this month. So, I'll just say thank you and uh, bye.